Hello everyone, welcome back to Dying Light 2, continuing it on sort of in the same area where we left it off before. I think we it was like a few houses over that way where we left it off. Just we came out of that building over there, I think. So I just hopped, skipped, and jumped over in this direction, came up to here, and we have a pretty good sight, pretty good line of sight of where we need to go now. There's a few zombies down here. But we're gonna not worry about them too much yet. We're just gonna run straight over to the bazaar and continue on with the main mission. So let's try and hit this X here. Oh, that was sort of close. <laughs> I feel like I landed between them. Oh, a forsaken store. Wait, what? Where did I... Oh, down there. Well, maybe it's only open at night, alright? You know what? Let's, uh... Yeah, they're coming after me right now. Let's just continue. Because I don't want, don't want to really do too much right now, because we don't really... Oh, here we go. Dark Hollows Forsaken Stores. Dark Hollows and Forsaken Stores are two open world locations that contain valuable loot. During the day, they're full of infected, so it's smart to explore them at night. Oh, okay, so these are those areas where you gotta wait till it's night time and you can go in exploring them when all the when all the zombies come out. Interesting. Forsaken Stores provide you with rare craft parts that can be used to create weapon mods and other more advanced items. Dark Hollows are the best place to find valuables and old world money. Loot them to increase your wealth. Okay. Thank you for the update. But for now, I think I want to make my way over to the bazaar to continue on with the main mission. I think we're not really going to worry too much about exploring around until we get a little bit more health. Like, a li little bit more of those inhibitors, right? Because I feel like it's so necessary to increase my health bar. Look at that mingy little health bar up the top left there. I don't really trust myself with such little health to go exploring right now. So, let's continue. Here we go. Oh, okay. No cutscene. We just go straight in. Welcome to the bazaar. Roof's goodies. Safe zone unlocked. Meet the people at the bazaar. Oh, here we go. This is probably where we're going to unlock all our little side missions that we can do. What's the problem? Hey, aren't you the pilgrim they wanted to hang? Man, you were in luck there. I could use some of that luck. I'm Alberto's apprentice. Not for long, probably. It's the third time I'm taking a shot at this test. If I fail again, Craftmaster Alberto's gonna kick me out. The test? Yeah, what is a Craftmaster? Probably, well, I guess that's pretty straightforward. Someone that crafts things, right? Weapons and... and... Hey, what's a Craftmaster? You're not from around here, right? Craftmasters are people who invent new technology, design innovations, all sorts of gadgets that might help in combat. Alberto's the Grand Master around here. Like I said, I'm his apprentice. People laugh at him, that he's slow and not very eloquent. But he's a real friggin' genius. Okay, what's the test about? What's this test about? I have to design something useful for the citizens. I already invented underwater reading glasses for Alberto, then a retractable dog leash. But it kept jamming. And besides, we have no dogs here. All my ideas are worthless. Now is my last chance to prove that I am not worthless. So I spent the last several weeks walking around the bazaar and thinking, thinking hard. And then, I hit it. Our goats. They're kept in cages because they eat crops. But life in cages makes them sad, and they give less milk. So I came up with the idea of a fence, energized with just a tiny bit of voltage. That would keep the goats under control, but let them produce more milk. I called this invention the electric fence. So what seems to be the problem with this invention of yours? 
I'm missing a few parts, and they're not that easy to get. I'm worried I won't be ready on time. Maybe you could help me. If you find them for me, I'll give you one of my super cool inventions. Nothing to do with goats, I hope. Nah, something much more interesting. You'll see. I just need some electric parts. I'll dismantle them for resistors and other useful things. As far as I know, they could be found in two places. One's an old hardware store on Fitzwilliam Place, near the water tower. Alberto says they'll be there for sure. But it's a dark place, full of turned creatures. You have to go there at night. And the other option? Whatever is left of military patrols. I know of one place south of Horseshoe, near the old electrical substation. Bandits roam in the area, so it's possible there's nothing left there. In which case you'll have to look for other patrol remains, or take a night trip to the store. Uh, do we have the parts that he needs? I don't think we do, but we can always try. <laughs> Looks like you're in luck after all. I have the parts you need on me. Are you serious? That's just fantastic! Heaven must have sent you! Now here. I don't know how to thank you. One more thing. Could you help me set up my show? My installation's right outside the main entrance. Turn it on, please. I'll go get Alberto. Wait till he sees it. Meet me by the goat pen then, near the wall. Wait, what? The spark of invention. Did we actually already collect all the things just out of just out of coincidence, or... Oh, that was a little bit weird. I didn't think we really got anything hey, of that, that sort of value. Huh. What does this guy want? Don't recognize me? Or are you allergic to making money? Listen, Pilgrim. We can make a killing, you and me. You just need to get me some beets, radishes, parsnips. There he is. Grab him, Ed. He's a murderer. What? Julian, Luke's been poisoned. From the water you sold him, Devin says. What? But... I don't sell water. Liar! Luke told me he got it from you. Whatever's in it has him ranting and raving now. You're sure he didn't blame me after he started ranting? Oh, well, wait a minute. Do you have proof? Of course. The water came in a bottle. Luke got that water in one of your bottles. When I tell Carl about this, you'll hang! Bevan, wait! I swear, I don't even sell water, damn it! If you're lying, Julian, you're fucking toast. Wow, that was rough. Wait, so then, if you're not selling water, how'd someone get a hold of one of your bottles? Knowing that shithead Luke, he probably stole it. That would be like him. Even if he did, my water's pure as melted snowflakes. Oh, it's revenge. But why would it be revenge? So, maybe it's revenge. For what? Everyone loves me. Never had an enemy in my life. Wait a second. Wait. Shit. Except maybe Marco. That bastard. Come to think of it, he's got an axe to grind for me. It was a long time ago. Never mind. Listen. He lives above an old shop on the west end of Villador on Houndfield Lane. I traded him a few kilos of my finest flour for the water. Prove he poisoned it, and half my flour is yours. Can you do that for me? I guess I could check it out. And there's one more thing. I'm a little embarrassed. Hans might also have a bottle of this water. I thought you weren't selling it. I'm not, except, well, to Hans, and... Can you go warn him? He's also on Hanfield, a few buildings down. Something's fishy about this, Julian. Look, you better be telling the truth, otherwise it'll be hard to help you. Hmm. Yeah, that guy seems super suspicious. I don't know about that. Alright, what do we got here? Meet the people of the bazaar. Okay, so we just gotta keep keep talking to some people, I guess. Hey, that's the pilgrim. Yeah, pilgrim, aren't you? That's right. Do you hang people for that too? Uh, I just wanted to say that I was rooting for you. Uh huh. Thanks for standing up for me. What? But I, I didn't. Ah, I 
get it. Sarcasm. Look, it's not that easy to go against the crowd. Sure. I know people are scared of pilgrims sometimes, but... <sighs> Shit. You survived inside the walls. <laughs> that to be some. All right, I think this is where we're going to be able to sell a lot of our stuff now as well. Merchants allow you to buy craft parts, new weapons and other items as well as valuables and unwanted loot that you collect. They offer the most powerful weapons, so visit the store often to increase your combat strength. You can find the merchants in all of the main hubs, as well as inside assigned facilities and settlements. Okay. So valuables, if I go to sell... Like, I don't think I need any of these things, right? I think I can just sell them all. Yeah, I'm pretty sure I don't need any of this. That's why it's just under miscellaneous. There we go. That'll do. We've got 1,100, nearly 1,200 bits of gold. Buy some gear, equipment. I don't think we're really going to invest in anything right now. Yeah, I think we're going to stop. We're going to save our money up because I haven't really been having that much trouble getting around these zombies for now. Oh, here we go. Craftmaster. Allow you to buy and upgrade blueprints. Upgrading blueprints makes the items you create from them more powerful. Ah, here you go. To upgrade a blueprint, bring the required items to a craftmaster and exchange them for a blueprint upgrade. Items used for blueprint upgrades can be looted from special infected, which are easy to find at night and are marked on your map with the blue icon. Oh, that little infected icon, okay. Oh, they're those trophy things that I've that I've been collecting. Gotcha. So a UV bar, endurance booster, fire arrows, wow. So these are weapon mods, what do we want? I think this would be pretty good. En endurance booster. UV bar, unique throwable. Huh. Interesting, okay. We're still gonna keep talking to people apparently. Hmm, okay. Well, no one else really wants to talk to me. Some say the renegades are about to attack. It's over here. Just goes to show Open. I think that's just gonna take me back outside though, isn't it? Oh, this is still part of the bazaar? Huh. Why didn't you do it yourself? Because I asked you to. Oh my god, you can overhear these people talking about that that water. Interesting. So these people probably did that. Okay. Well we don't we're not gonna worry about that quest just yet. There's like some sort of yellow note over here. Looking at all the dead people. That says here they're missing. Same difference. They never find them anyway. Yeah, then why the board? It's been 15 years. Many people disappeared back then. My neighbor lost his two kids. But life goes on. Except nobody has the courage to take those photographs down. But it's hopeless. Since there are no night runners. The search always ends the same. Have you heard of kids who were in the GRE tests? Huh. And who wasn't in the tests? The young, the old, the blind, the deaf. Everyone came to find a vaccine. Some for cash. Others to cheat destiny and not get infected. 
But that was the devil's bargain of Villador. Walled in with the plague, but given the chance to be the ones who gave the cure to the world. Well, the virus won. The study was eventually discontinued. And the children? Officially, no one tested on children. Human rights and other crap. And unofficially? And unofficially. Apparently, some of the kids were taken out of the city. The rest? Well, they just scattered around the city, abandoned. If the infected didn't get them, then hunger or darkness did. When did all this happen? A long time ago. Looking at you, you were still a kid yourself. Once upon a time, I came across two of them, two girls. They were five or six years old, and it looked like they hadn't eaten for a month. What were their names? I don't remember. I threw them some old bread and took off because they were shaking as if they were about to turn. Red eyes, swollen veins. I don't know what they were giving them there, those psychos from the GRE. Oh, heavy. And those night runners, tell me about them. What's there to say? Nearly all of them are dead. When they were around, they were the only ones not afraid to go out at night. They rescued those who didn't manage to get to a shelter. But of the entire group, only a few survived, including Frank, their former commander. Once upon a time, he was great. Now, he drinks himself into a stupor at his place in the central loop. Hard to say how much longer he'll be around. Where are all these kids at now? After all those years, most of them are probably dead. If someone got luckier and is still wandering around, they will probably be in the central loop. More peacekeepers there. Easier to survive. Someone must know more. Why? The past is the past, and there's no point in dredging it back up. Everyone has their own problems. Here and now, Pilgrim. Everyone fights for themselves. Okay. Wow, mate. The city went to absolute shit, didn't it? So what's the plan now? Oh, this is that electric fence mission. Whoops. I'm probably meant to activate the mission before I do that. I think, anyway. Oh, here he is. This is, the, this is the guy from that other mission, I think. May as well talk to him now if we already see him here. Everything all right? No, it's grilled. The goat is grilled. I'm such an idiot. B what happened? I must have overcalculated the voltage. See, he's useless. <laughs> I'm sorry. I don't know how I could get it so wrong. I told you it would be a waste of time. Why? I don't think so. This is very, very. It has big, huge. You're saying it has potential. Potential, yes. It could be an effective weapon. A weapon? It's a ready formula. If you just use it on a weapon, it could raise your odds against turned creatures. The brave goat gave its life to science. There's dinner for everyone. And you? I take you as a... Uh, and pronounce you uh, uh, a... A... Uh, a... Craft master? Really? Oh my gosh, thank you. Thank you. We'll talk later. Come, Vincenzo. I can't thank you enough. Here, take this. 
If it's not strong enough, come round to my Craftmaster workshop. Sure, thanks. Just, uh, watch yourself out there, okay? No worries, friend. <clears throat> Okay, I mean, I don't think that really went to plan, but <laughs> they got the job done. To install a weapon mod, you need to have a blueprint for it, any required craft parts, and the right weapon, okay? Check the number of mod slots on the weapon. The best weapon will have three mod slots available. Grip, shaft, and tip. Different mods fit into different slots. Now press that, go to your inventory, choose the right weapon, and press Y to modify it. Okay, side quest completed. Not bad. I still have no idea who I'm meant to be talking to, though. It says meet people at the bazaar. But I feel like I've talked to most of the people. With you, girl, what else could there be? Oh, there we go. We've got our parkour leveled up. Nice. We invest that point then, why not? Oh, this seems pretty good. Make the last climb on edges even when your stamina is gone. Yeah, that could be really nice. Let's do this one. Okay, so I've been at this bazaar for a while now and we haven't really gotten any sort of notice on how to continue with the main mission. We've been talking to pretty much everyone here, uh, meet the people at the bazaar, but we haven't really been able to progress in any way. So I think we're just gonna start on with this mission here. Cheers. And hopefully, after we finish this mission, we'll have some sort of better better idea how to continue on with the with the main one. So can we put a waypoint over here? Don't think so, but let's just head to this one on the map. It's 8.50 in the morning. Over this way. Alright. Let's do it! So we can work on our parkour skills. Mate, I love this game already. It's, it just feels so good to play. Decent. I think a beast stung me. Damn it. Okay, a beast stung him. <laughs> That's a weird thing to worry about, mate. A, a zombie apocalypse. Oh, there could be something in here, actually. Oh, nothing. Okay. We'll continue. Dark Hollow is discovered. So we've got number one over there, 280 meters. Hey, man, what's taking so long? Oh, what's over there? Oh, there's something over there, I think. We're not going to worry about that now, though. Actually, if we put on our binoculars, hang on. Duke. It doesn't really tell me much though. Alright, let's get out of that. Let's continue. So where do we have to go? Over there. Inhibitor container detected. Container detected. Center for stage. Oh, inhibitor container. Oh, I get what he's saying. I didn't realize what that what that sound was. So where's this inhibitor container? Hang on. Probably in here somewhere. Well, I'm not going to worry about that for now, though. I actually heard that a lot of the inhibitor containers you find out as you're progressing through the main storyline. So it might be better to to collect them as we go along, just to keep our keep our eyes open, so we can pick up them as we go along. Because we don't want to backtrack too much, sort of waste waste a little bit of our time. Oh, what's this? Accepting this quest will fast forward you to the night. Okay, uh, we won't worry about that for now. We've got to get a little bit more into the main mission before we start branching off a little bit, because I feel like we're going to need a little bit more. A little bit more stamina and health. 
to do anything fairly significant. Can't get up there? Damn. Okay, we should be getting pretty close now, right? Yeah, over there, 50 meters. Oh, okay. Oh, these zombies are level two. Weapon is almost broken. Oh, whoops. We can just use it till it breaks, honestly. Get off the roof, buddy. <laughs> Alright, here we go. Good stuff. Okay, so is this the place? I think we're pretty bloody close. There's something over there. Oh, the door. Oh, you can go down... Down under. Oh, no. I bet we have to go all the way down the bottom. Let's check over here first. Yeah, I bet we have to go downstairs. It says, find Marco the water supplier. Okay. Open this up first. Alright, we're good. Let's head down. Oh, what? He didn't grab onto that ledge? Damn. Still wasn't too bad, though. Oh, here he is. Great. Another water thief. Just what I need. Between thieves and infected, I'll be out of business soon. <laughs> what are you talking about? You came to rob me, didn't you? I'm here because a guy named Julian claims you sold him poison water. I didn't poison anything. All right? Uh, Julian claims otherwise. Sure. Listen to the guy who sold me flour mixed with plaster. If you're not the thief, how are you with infected? I need to get rid of those things that are down there. If not, I'm done here. Poison water or not. Okay, I'll get rid of the infected and you tell me what happened. Deal? Sure. Deal. Okay. I guess that's fair enough. Oh, we got our we got our infected timer up the top. It uh it restarted here. That's nice. All right, let's double check what weapons we have available. Grubby bat is also pretty much gone in terms of dur durability. We might as well just use it until it completely is gone, right? May as well. We might find some stuff in here as well. Just take a quick look around. Wait, how do we get down to the bottom then? Get me out of here. We have to get down there somehow. Oh, here we got to keep going down. Gotcha. been here and there. You know, the best part is always happening in the center. And that's where we're going. I have a plan for how to get there. I'll tell you everything on the spot. Meet me on the roof near the main metro station. Oh, here we go. Finally. We got contacted by ha Hakon. I guess we just had to continue with these side quests here. Alright, yeah, they know exactly where I am. Alright, let's go, boys. Alright, we need to change weapon. Oh, not a good idea.
Oh, that was decent, actually. We didn't take too much damage. I thought we were going to take so much more damage there. Okay. I'm down. So it seems pretty much like it. We'll finish grabbing the things in here. Oh, we can pick this up and throw it. Make way, kid. All right, okay, you're safe. Now, what's the story with the water? The wake. So, what about the water? There ain't nothing wrong with my water. The man at the bazaar was poisoned. And you'll be blamed if he dies. <sighs> Damn it. Okay. It was an accident. Okay? Uh, an accident. It's because of these goddamn thieves. Thieves? They're always stealing my water. I can't take it anymore. So, I decided to set the trap. So, you deliberately poison the water to kill the bandits? Not quite. At least, uh, I didn't mean to. A, a while ago, I killed this viral that came crawling in here. And the fucker fell straight into a tub. The whole tub fucking ruined. But then I got this idea. Why don't I teach these bastards a lesson? So I filled some bottles with the zombie water, sent them out where they'd be easy to see. They were never supposed to make it into the bazaar. Guess I was sauced up and accidentally sold a few bottles to Julian. Look, I'll give you all the flour I got. I'll even throw something extra. Just don't tell anybody. I'd be ruined. Oh, well, that's sort of awkward. We, we have to tell them, right? They'll blame Julian and he'll hang. Don't you worry about Julian. A weasel like him will find a way to weasel out of it. And if not, then that's one weasel less in the world. So, we got a deal? Oh, this is, uh, hmm. This is awkward. I think I'm gonna tell him the truth. Just be honest and tell your story to the bazaar. It was an accident. You nuts! No one would buy even a drop of water from me ever again! I won't let Julian hang for something he didn't do. Fuck Julian! I got my own skin to save. So that's a story you ain't going to tell. Oh, I could have seen that one coming. What got you, you piece of shit? Oh, what? Mate, we don't have full health either. Almost got me. Oh, mate. You're low on health. Yeah, I don't think I can heal in time, though. Oh no, I just timed it wrong. Damn. Man, I didn't realize we we're gonna have to be full health before taking that guy on. <laughs> that, uh, that didn't exactly go to plan. Alright, here we go. Let's try it again. There we go. Man, I still gotta get used to the controls a little bit. Alright, come on, bud. Gotcha, you piece of shit. Yeah. 
Oh yeah, this is working out well this time. I think it's a little bit easier to dodge this guy. Oh, you can't, you can't block him for some reason. Every time I try and block... No! Alright, dodging is doing doing the job though. We'll just keep dodging. Hopefully, we can, if we dodge all these, a few more. There we go. Flower. Okay, cool. Report back to the bazaar. Find Hans the hunter before he drinks the poison water. Oh, we should probably do that, hey. Before he drinks it? Yeah, we should definitely find Hans. So I guess the number two is a second, like an optional objective. Because we could technically just go straight back now. And stop him from, and like tell them what happened. But if he drinks the water, and it's also pretty shitty. We're just going to run past them here. Whoops. Didn't realize it was going to be that big of a drop. <laughs> oh, we're right here. Can I jump up here? No. That'll do. Wait, what was that? Oh, they're shooting at me. You're kidding. Alright, let's see if we can go a different way here. Because I'm pretty sure that's where we have to go. Yeah, we're going to go in that door there. Oh, we were already there. Whoops. Hans? Hans, you there? Oh, that was easy. Hans? Hans? Mate? Old buddy, old pal? What the hell? Stop! Don't drink that water! Water? <coughs> this isn't water. <coughs> oh, that moron must have taken the wrong bottle again. Forget his own head if it weren't stuck on his shoulders. Hey, what did you mean by the wrong bottle? He always takes a little rocket fuel with him when he goes hunting. But the booze is right here. That means he's got water. Where is he? And what business is that of yours? The water he got from Julian. It might be contaminated. He's hunting at this... Uh, the military tower, a, a few hundred meters west of here. Unless he's at the courts. I'll go to the tower. You check the courts, fast. Wait, wait. Take the booze with you in case he's already drunk some of the water. I bet what's in this bottle will kill whatever's in that one. I'm not sure if that's exactly how it works, darling. <laughs> the booze would just kill anything in the bottle. All right, find Hans at his favorite hunting spot. Where are we going? Over that way. All right, let's go. Come on, go, 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 go. I don't actually know if we have a time limit here. I don't think we do. She just said we got to get there quick. Oh, whoops. All right, go. Oh, we're actually already there again. Is this not it? I can hear him. Hans? Hans? Oh, he's up there.
Hans, are, are you Hans? What do you want? Did you drink any of that water? Goddamn right I did. Tasted like piss. Give him booze, it was poisoned. We should just give him the booze, right? See if it works. It's your booze. Take it. Your wife said chug. Drink it already! Bullshit. What? <laughs> My wife said that. My Anna. She thinks the alcohol is strong enough to burn the poison out of your system. Ha! Huh. My woman. <laughs> so she loves me after all, despite her bitching and moaning. And they say romance is dead. Here, for making my day. And maybe saving my life. <sighs> Look, you need any help getting back? Nah, I'm good. Me and this bottle of booze still got some work to do. Okay. And what, he just like that? He just accepts it, takes the booze, and that's a day's done? That's a job well done? <laughs> okay, I mean, if you say so. That was a, a pretty weird interaction, but I guess we'll take it, right? Oh, no! Alright, so I guess we just gotta head back to the bazaar now, and that is the end of the mission. We'll talk to, talk to that bloke that gave us the mission. And hopefully everything is sweet. What's going on in there? Hey, if you find old toys, you can leave them here. No, you know? I can't take you there. We got some side quests Where as well over here. Right no field trips. May as well talk to him. What's going on here? Hello, I'm Henkel. This student here was curious about my lesson today, about when the guns were confiscated in Villador, and what happened afterwards. He wants to light a candle on the site of the March massacre. The March Massacre? Yes. 64 people died that day. Gunned down like sitting ducks. If you want to know more, you should go and see for yourself. Why can't he? No one can leave the building while school is in session. Children shouldn't walk around the bazaar on their own. Hmm. I thought you'd be more worried about them falling into a dark zone. Oh, kids nowadays are too smart to fall into a silly hole. Anyway, could you light a candle for him, young man? You might learn something yourself. Sure, though I was pretty lousy at history. History is boring when someone tells you about it. It starts being fascinating when you can touch it. Touch it? Yes. Take this candle and go to the Monument of the World Art Congress. Or what's left of it. It's close by. Contact me when you get there. You'll see what my lesson was about today. Okay. Nice little small side quest, I think. Finally, I know what I wish to become. Can we drop down here? We can. Oh, we can drop down on the other side as well. May as well heal ourselves. Oh, actually, we don't need to. We're going to go to bed soon, I think. There we go. Now we're just going to get to the bazaar. And we should be sweet. Then we can go to Harkon and maybe continue on with the main mission. Very interested in what he says here about the water. <laughs> What's going on? Bevan's husband is dead. Julian's been accused of murdering him by poisoning his water. Aiden, please tell them it wasn't me. Oh, what's in it for me? That's interesting. What's in it for me to say anything? A clear conscience? Though. I hear not many pilgrims can claim one of those. Aiden, please, don't make this a negotiation. A man has died. Julian is innocent. A viral fell into a supplier's storage tub. The guy drunkenly sold Julian contaminated water. It, it wasn't a murder. You'd swear to that before the Bazaar Council? Yeah. Where's that supplier? 
He's going to stand trial in- Marco is dead. I, I, I killed him. And my job here is done. It's okay. I forgive you. That scum Marco got what he deserved. Thank you, Aiden. Half of my flower is yours. Yeah, the flower mixed with plaster. Huh? Uh, no. Where'd you hear that? Oh, yeah, so once, but, yeah, you know, it... Yeah, keep the plaster. Just pay me and we'll be even. All right. I'll tell Bibbin what happened. Side quest completed. And nobody's doing anything about it. Parkour, Such okay. Oh, the pipe is nice because... We don't actually have many good weapons on us right now. We would probably have to buy something. Okay, let's go spend our kill our combat point. When dropping into enemies from above, nail them with a power kick. Dodge at the just, just the right time to stagger your enemy. Oh, that's pretty cool. When dropping on enemies from above, nail them with a power kick. <laughs> you just send them flying. Oh, but I think this one might actually be better. So far, in the combat scenarios, I found dodging is a little bit better than, than blocking because you can always dodge, right? But sometimes if you if you block the wrong attack, it can still do damage anyway. So I think we might go for perfect dodge. Pretty sweet. Okay. So we'll change our weapon. Actually, you know what? We might... Can we sell some weapons? I'm going to sell this one. This one, they're pretty much gone anyway. And I think these blue ones are a little bit better than the white ones. We don't need all these weapons, do we? No, you. Alright, cool. We could get a better weapon if we want. 24 damage. Sounds pretty good, honestly. But... We're doing fine with the weapons that we have, so I might just save my gold. Here we go. I think it might be worth upgrading this. We can upgrade it if we want to. Yeah, we can upgrade either one of these. I think we might upgrade our, our medicine, though. The time to apply gets upgraded to three seconds instead of four, which might be pretty good, actually. Yeah, we'll do that. Nice. Oh, look, we need some different trophies to upgrade it again. Oh, okay, interesting. So, meat hacking. I think for now, this is where we're going to stop, it, guys. We're going to continue in the next episode. Again, I apologize for my voice. It's still a little bit croaky, a little bit rusty, because I've, I've been a little bit sick lately, but hopefully it'll get better soon. Thank you guys very much for watching. I hope you guys are enjoying Dying Light 2, and I'll catch you guys in the next episode. See you later.